Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23 is an aviation unit of the United States Navy based at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland, United States. The squadron was established on July 22, 1995. Using the tail code SD, the squadron operates multiple aircraft types of the United States Navy for test and evaluation purposes. Aircraft assigned to VX-23 include EA-6B, FA-18E, FA-18C and T-45. VX-23 is an aircraft test squadron that conducts research, testing and evaluation of fixed-wing tactical aircraft and UAVs. VX-23 provides aircraft, pilots, maintenance services, safety oversights and facility support for these operations. Their main mission is flying qualities and performance evaluations, shipboard suitability, propulsion system testing, tactical aircraft mission systems testing, ordnance compatibility and ballistics efforts, reliability and maintainability assessments, flight fidelity simulation and flight control software development. The squadron also provides government flight representative, test monitoring, chase aircraft support, facilities for contractor demonstration, validation and development work involving tactical aircraft and associated systems. And VX-23 FA-18A releases MK-83 bombs over the Atlantic Test Range, July 2002. The squadron was established in on July 22, 1995 as the Naval Strike Aircraft Test Squadron and redesignated VX-23 on May 1, 2002. During the years VX-23, has tested and evaluated fixed-wing fighter, attack and other designated aircraft including EA-6B, F-14, FA-18 and T-45. Recently, VX-23 have hosted and provided flight test aircrew for the new Joint Strike Fighter X-32 and X-35 concept demonstration aircraft as well as the X-31 vector test vehicle. The squadron consists of about 40 officers and 90 enlisted drawn from the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps and also 340 contractor and civil servant personnel involved with maintenance, planning and safety oversight. These people support the squadron's 40 FA-18AG, EA-6B and T-45 aircraft. Additionally, the squadron is supported by hundreds of flight test engineers provided by Naver Seascom 5. 1. 6 and various other contractors. The squadron conducts over 2,600 flight operations every year which sums up to roughly 3,500 flight hours, much of which involves high-risk flight test. VX-23 conducts operations from a facility that includes three large hangars and also operates, and maintains a TC-7 catapult and MK-7 arresting gear facility. On Earth Day 2010, a modified FA-18 Super Hornet known as the Green Hornet was demonstrated by the squadron using a biofuel blend made from the Camelina Sativa plant. In August 2011, VX-23 flew the high-performance jet trainer on a biofuel mixture of petroleum-based JP-5 jet fuel and plant-based Camelina. On June 4, 2021, the first refueling test and evaluation flight was conducted with the MQ-25 drone refueling aircraft providing fuel to a FA-18E-F Super Hornet. The test had the MQ-25 originated Mid-America Airport in Mascouda, Illinois, and the FA-18 was from the VX-23. The mission lasted about four, five hours, and the two aircraft were connected for dry or wet connects numerous times for a total time of more than 10 minutes, with a total of 325 pounds of fuel passed. Thanks for watching.